Hello, I want to explain about some useful things to know about the Altitude Pro theme. One thing that I think is really important is that people can easily navigate your site. So you can link to your main pages and the seven home page sections in one menu at the top of your site if you use a drop down. Now, what you're going to do, if you, if you want to make a drop down, you'll have to include the full URL to, your, to each section of the page. So that would be a .com or a .co.uk. I'm using a, a local host. So it would be mysite.com forward slash uh, pound sign front hyphen page hyphen two to go to the second section of your site. So we have a quick look. <clears throat> right. So that would be the home page. Click in there. If you want to go to the next section, or the next one. Click home, it'll take you back to the top. But to, to use those links, you've got to use the full URL, which includes the full URL for your site, which would be mysite.com, and then add on the um, the actual jump link. I made this into a, a drop down menu. Uh, that just drag them sideways to make it into a drop down menu, and I'll put the other links in the same menu. So we end up with just an ordinary menu, but one of the links is for the front page. Altitude Pro does have a sidebar. So if you want to use a sidebar or you want to use a full full width page layout, you can use either. So let's see. <clears throat> this is a full width page layout and that would be automatically selected if you don't choose anything else, that's the, the theme is set up to uh, to use the full width layout. But if you want to, <clears throat> pardon me, you can use a sidebar. When you edit your or when you make your page, just choose that option below your uh, your editor. Just choose either full width or a sidebar. This theme has one footer widget area, but it's a big box that you can use as a call to action. And you can choose your own colour. So if you have a look, this is the, the footer, footer one widget area. And you would get there in appearance widgets, footer one. So if you put some text in here, I put a, a headline, a bit of text and a button. And that will appear at the bottom of all your pages and posts. Now this colour, you can change the colour. And if you want to change this colour to a different colour, all you need to do is go to the customizer. So go to appearance, customize, and then go to colours. <coughs> we'll scroll down so you can see it change. <coughs> and pick a different colour. So I suppose you wanted a red colour. Just pick it, a green one. And then when you, or your, your buttons have changed colour and this footer. There's not an awful lot of other things that change colour, but um, it's certainly worth knowing that you can do that. <coughs> a lot of the Genesis themes, I'm not sure if all of them have it, but a lot of them have a after entry widget area. It's a great place to put your sign-up form for eNews Extended uh, email sign-up widget. So, if you go to your appearance widgets, and it's called after entry widget, just drag the Genesis eNews Extended widget in there, and I've styled mine slightly. This is this is the um, Genesis eNews Extended widget, and I've I've made this into a headline that is bold. And I did that by, when I when I set up the eNews Extended widget, I just put H, H2 tags and strong. So it's a H2, but it's strong as well. It's bold. And I use that for the headline. You only you can only use a limited amount of HTML in this box. Uh, this is the text to show before the form appears, which is, this is the text that shows before the form appears. 
and I, I've wrapped this text in H2 strong tags. Now, you, you can easily add icons called dash icons or dash icons. All you need to do is copy and paste the code from the WordPress site. So, to add the dash icons to your site, all you need to do, you need to go to wordpress.org website, search for developer resources dash icons, and you'll find this page. Choose the dash icon that you like the look of from the list. If you wanted to use this one, I would just choose it, just pick it, pick whichever one you want. So supposing you wanted to use uh, the little loudspeaker, click the icon, then click copy HTML, right click, copy, and then just paste that code into your WordPress site using the text editor or the WordPress editor. And it will appear on the page like this. That's all you need to do. But you've got to do that in text mode. When you when you paste those in, make sure you're in text mode, not in the uh, the visual mode. Well, that's all we need to know. So this is basically what we've done. We've learned some new useful things to know about the Altitude Pro theme. You can make a combination of navbar that includes the front page links, the jump links on the front page, and your ordinary internal pages. So you could jump inside the site, or you could go back to the any section you want of the home page. You can have a sidebar or a full width layout. The footer has got a big coloured box, and you can choose your own colour. So this colour you can choose that colour in the in the customizer. Um, put your email sign up box in the after entry widget area and add icons using dash icons from the WordPress website. Well, that's it for this video. Bye for now.